Today I want to talk about the best config tweaks that you can make to Black Ops 6 to get the highest performance and best visibility. Now last week I went through every single graphic setting in BO6 and not only show you the performance impact but also how they affect the visuals of the game and today we're going to look at a few additional settings that can only be modified by tweaking the configuration file. Before I begin though, I'd like to again talk about two in-game graphic settings that I really didn't have enough time to properly test for my previous video because I was in such a rush. So briefly let's have a second look at on-demand texture streaming and local texture streaming quality. Now while I still didn't find any performance difference between these settings, I did actually find some visual differences with on-demand texture streaming. For instance, the sleeves of the player's character seem to have higher resolution textures and also some textures in the world, but not all, seem to have higher resolution versions when setting on-demand texture streaming to optimized. Now I actually played with this setting enabled for the entire evening yesterday and didn't notice any stuttering or any weird behavior, so I guess if you have a good internet connection and you want the game to look a little bit better, then setting this to optimized does no harm. On the other hand, local texture streaming quality really doesn't seem to have any effect on the quality of the game, so maybe this setting is only gonna become relevant with the integration of Warzone. And with that, let's move on to our configuration tweaks. So first of all, let me show you where to find the config file. You want to open up the Explorer, go to Documents, open the Call of Duty folder, Players, and here you'll find a s.1.0.cot24.txt file. Now you don't have to bother that there are multiple files called the same and there's actually some copies of this one here but you only have to modify the txt file don't worry about these other ones they will just get adapted as soon as you modify anything in here now i'm going to be completely upfront with you there's basically only two settings that you'll want to modify in this entire configuration file everything else that youtubers are talking about is complete snake oil and doesn't bring you any performance gains and does not affect the visuals of black ops 6 whatsoever but the one thing that you absolutely want to make sure that it is set to the proper value is the renderer worker count so on my primary gaming system which has an i9 3900k and an rtx 4080 and where i'm playing at 1440p we can see that the render worker count 7 yields the highest performance of the averages and the one percent lows however the differences between these different numbers are pretty small the only thing that you really have to make sure is that this value is not set to something like 16 if you have an 8 core processor because then you're actually starting to see a significant drop in performance so just remember that for this system the best performance has been seen at the number of physical cores minus one but if i now move to my all amd based system that has an r7 7800 x3d as well as an rx 7900 xtx again at 1440p and here i'm actually seeing a slight reduction in the one percent lows when setting the render worker count to number of physical cores minus one again you can observe how massive reductions in the one percent lows you can see when setting the render worker count to half or double the number of physical cores so on this system i would just set the exact number of physical cores as my render worker count and finally, for my very CPU bottleneck system that has an i7 7700K, which is only a 4 core CPU, paired with an RTX 3060 Ti, and here I tested at 1080p, we can see that the recommendation that pretty much anybody out there gives you, which is physical cores minus 1, is truly a horrible recommendation. I'm seeing 14% lower 1% lows and 4% reduction in the average FPS compared to the best value which on this system happens to be physical cores plus 1. Now of course I don't know for sure but my guess would be that in cases where your system is very CPU bottlenecked and that you're not playing at a very high resolution increasing the renderer worker count gives the game just a little bit more to work with and actually boosts your performance quite a bit. So if you also only have a 4 core CPU and you're playing at 1080p, then setting this value to 5 might yield to the best performance. Now here I'm showing you a bit of an overview of the most popular CPUs and their number of physical cores as a starting point for you to tune your specific system. So as a general rule of thumb, what I would do is just to use the number of physical cores on your system as a baseline for the render worker count and then maybe experiment with either if you're very GPU bottlenecked to reduce it by one or if you're very CPU bottlenecked to increase it by one 
and test whether you're getting higher performance, both of the averages and the 1% lows, compared to simply having this at the physical number of cores. Now, if so far you've got any value from this video, then I would really appreciate it if you could leave a like and a comment down below, because producing this type of content is super time intensive, as I have to restart the game with every configuration tweak that I make. And it would be really cool to see some of the 93% of people watching my content that are not subscribed turning into members of my community. The next setting that you probably want to adjust in the configuration of Black Ops 6 is to disable blood effects. For this, you want to search for blood and you want to set the show blood setting to false. You want to set the um, blood limit setting to true and you want to set the blood limit interval to one. Performance wise, disabling blood effects obviously has absolutely no impact whatsoever. But if you look at a side by side comparison, you can see that the blood effects can sometimes get into the way of live players. So for instance, the player here shot someone at the right of this other player. And you can see that the red puff of the blood effect kind of obscures the other player a little bit. Also, I personally prefer the more clean looking um, game when having blood effects disabled. Now, whilst we're here, we also have this other setting called Show Brass that people recommend to set it to false. And while there isn't much harm to be done while setting this to false, I have to say that I didn't find any performance impact when disabling this. And I also didn't find any improvement in sort of the visual clutter when firing guns. And that's pretty much all the settings that you absolutely should change if you want better performance or better visibility in Black Ops 6. All of the other settings that all the other YouTubers gas up on YouTube have basically no effect on performance and also do not affect the visual clarity of the game. For instance, I tested the corpse limit, which has absolutely no effect on performance. I also tested the corpse's calling threshold, set it to 0 0.5, 0 0.85 and 1, and there is absolutely no measurable impact on performance whatsoever. The same is true for reflection probe relighting, which a lot of people recommend to have this set to one, but there is no performance gain to be had with this. And I also struggle to find any side by side comparison to show how this affects the visual quality of the game. Same is true for static sun shadow clip map resolution, which set at zero does not improve performance whatsoever. And it also doesn't appear to conceivably affect the shadows. Another fun one is the ST LOD skip, which if you set it to 5, will end up making the game completely unplayable. Now, texture filtering, you can no longer set to anything below anisotropic two times, which is really good, because in Modern Warfare 3, you could actually set this to something lower, and then the entire game would just start looking like Minecraft, which definitely was hilarious. Another setting that I found very intriguing, and I would actually absolutely love to disable, is this radial motion blur applied to players when they're moving fast. Now, even if you set this to true, you don't really get a reduction in the motion blur, at least when looking at the benchmark segment of Black Ops 6. Another setting that is constantly getting recommended to reduce because it is a huge performance hog is subdivision level or the Catmo Clark subdivision level. Now, this setting improves the way that round surfaces appear by subdivising grids into finer meshes. And it's quite interesting because setting this to 0 or 8 has absolutely no impact on performance whatsoever. And there is also absolutely no difference visually. And that's all of the settings that I tested for today's video. Now, if there is anything else that you'd be interested in me looking at, then let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you haven't seen my in-depth comparison of performance and visual quality of every graphic setting in Black Ops 6, then check out the video linked on screen right now. But that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in the next video.